Okay, should be live now. Hi everyone. Welcome. This game just came out on the Switch, rather. Uh, it didn't just come out. Uh, this is Bug Fables. The Everlasting Sapling. I've never played this game before, and to be honest, I've... Uh, this is supposed to be Paper Mario inspired. I've never beaten any of the Paper Mario games, except Sticker Star. Uh, I've said that in the past. Uh, why did I beat Sticker Star? I have no idea. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> Sticker Star was not a good game. It was very boring. Mostly. I don't think it, like, killed... I absolutely ruined everything! It's just kind of mediocre. Not anything. My thing with games is they have to be interesting enough for me to actively hate them. I don't think Sticker Star is interesting enough for that. Uh, but anyways, that's not related. This is Bug Fables. Start in a new quest. I'll type in a file name. Puggy has arrived. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Atticus. Hi, wife. Um... Do I go for just my name, or do I do I go for Gerby? I guess we'll go Gerby. I'm Mar Morgan, but the the, the pureples call me Gerby. Is Gerby okay? Yeah, Gerby's okay. Hi, Charlotte. Ah, the land of Bagaria. A peaceful, prosperous place where many adventurous bugs gather. Although, it wasn't always that way. Lured by the promise of riches and lush fields, a young queen visited these lands many moons ago. Together with her daughters and fellow ant servants, she established Bulgaria's modest first settlement. Her people were happy, and the ant kingdom flourished. And yet, the queen's dream had still not been fulfilled. For she had heard of an ancient people who safeguarded a treasure of unbelievable power. It was none other than... The Everlasting Sapling, a plant which would grant any unending youth and strength to anyone who even ate one of its leaves. She searched and searched and searched. Alas, she never found it. She entrusted her dream to the princess before falling into a hard-earned sleep. Determined to succeed where her mother did not, the new queen rallied the people together under her cause. Opening the doors of the kingdom to bugs of all shapes and kinds, she attracted ambitious and skilled adventurers. Her decree was loud and clear. Find me the everlasting sapling, and you shall know wealth like no other bug has. With this, the Explorers Association was founded, with its many members searching across the kingdom for clues and treasures. Even though, to this day, the sapling has not been found, but every bug dreams of one day claiming it for themselves. Everyone's saying girl boss in chat! <laughs> or at least, those are the stories I was told in my land. Despite many unfortunate incidents, tales of your people helped me keep my adventuring spirit alive. Rest assured, Kabu, they're not mere legends, but real history. The, this Explorers Association and all the explorers who risk their wings for glory are proof of that. Then, Sir Maki, would you consider my earliest offer? Kabu, I respect your passion, but I take missions of the highest danger. An unproven warrior is not fit to accompany my team. Unproven? Uh, Maki, I, I've bested many hardships in the north. Or so you say. Your knowledge of our culture and your passion for exploring are as true as my blade's edge, Kabu. But I would ask you not to not press the issue. This is not the place to cause a scene. What? Can it say that again? As I said, we cannot allow children to explore, uh, much less a snake mouth den. I'm not a kid! So much for that. Would you accompany me, Kabu? It is my duty to investigate. Well, if you insist. 
Larry Butsby. That's just that's just a funny voice. It's, it's not just Larry. I just like doing this voice. It'll be lower your voices. What is the matter? This guy's calling me a kid. Says I can't explore. Shouting isn't gonna change the rules, you kid. Shut it! It's not about age, it's about skill! I'm V! Th that can't be her voice. I could do whatever voice I want. I'm V, the best explorer the hive has ever seen. I'm not some random bee. An explorer bee. Yeah, got a problem? Saying bees can't explore? Expected honey and paint? I didn't say that, but... Silence, please. This guild of ours is no place for petty squabbles. Look, I, I can't just give a permit to some bee, uh, much less without a partner. Uh, teams should be a duo of explorers, you know. You are going to die and blow up within an hour. Come up with a more creative threat than that. I'm worth like four bees, okay? Hey, V. What do you want? Why don't we join forces? We both wish for a permit, yet lack a companion. What? Do I look desperate? I don't even know you! I did this voice for a shit ton of time in Ace Attorney. I'll be fine. I have a promise I must keep, and for that- Oh, wait. I have a promise I must keep, and for that I must explore. How bad could it be? Well, it can't be worse than having to stay put. Deal. Wait, you two are just crazy. You won't last a second in Snake Mouth. I'll prove you wrong. No, you are both most likely mere novices ruled by your strong emotions. I have no doubt that if you left today, you would re return inside a bag. Sir Mackey, although you outrank me in spades, you shouldn't underestimate me. I went through quite a bit to get here. Yeah, bugs like you that look down on others are really annoying. Hmm, very well. I shall test your resolve. Test us, huh? Who named you king of this joint? V is a girl, if that matters. I could do. I told you I could do a voice I want for any. It's a bug. It's fine. They make buzzing noises. They do buzz buzz and all that. Mmm. Mmm. That's me doing realistic voice acting for them. The Ant Queen herself, for she has knighted me as her royal blade. I accept your challenge. V, get ready. Watch your own horn. I was born ready. V, our opponent is no amateur. Would you like to review some combat tips? Hit me up. Maybe I'll even learn something. Listen, then. We can both perform one action per round, be it attacking, using an item, etc. We can power up our attacks by performing commands unique to each move. Watch this. If I hold down long enough, I can power up my horn strike. Hold it a button. Lame. Look at this. If I press A at the right time, I can power up a beamerang. Yeah! See? We're doing great! Don't let your guard down, V. After our turn ends, the enemy's next. I know! If I press A at the right time! Pressing A a bit before an enemy hits, hits you reduces damage received. With perfect timing, you'll reduce even more damage. Ow! What the heck? You trying to kill us or something? <laughs> if you can't handle that much, you should surrender. Go home and guard Honey with your silly toy. Toy? Ah, now I'm mad! We should pay him back tenfold. Time to use a skill. They're just like attacks, but you select them from the yellow flower. Skills require us to use our TP, though. So watch out for how many we have left. We should patch your wounds, too. Using items from the blue flower. I should probably give her a more fitting voice. I'll do I'll do the Maya Fey voice instead. This is like a child. There's probably a funnier character I can do this voice for. 
Yeah, it's toilet, toilet points, toilet paper. Ha <laughs> 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 I would like to eat a crunchy leaf. Do it for Larry when he appears. I'm sure there will be a Larry type character that's like, yeah, <laughs> it's me, the funny guy. <laughs> Okay. I fucked that up. I need to get used to the battle mechanics. S such skill with the blade. You pass. What? You performed well enough. I could feel your desire to see the world through your attacks. I am no one to keep you from your explorer permit. Edel, you may grant it to them. Dang. I get no say in this, huh? But Maki is the Queen's Blade. Here, you can have it. I did it! Snake Mouth Den is gonna be all mine! All the riches, all the glory! Snake Mouth Den, it lies to the west of the Association. A simple path, although it is filled with danger. There is much treasure to be found, but its jaws have claimed many. Maki! I don't know why I did that. Seriously, brother! How long are you going to keep me waiting? My apologies, Kina. V. Kabu, I must be going now. As you can see, duty calls me. May you succeed in your mission. What a weird bunch. He ended up ca causing quite the scene himself. That fighting prowess. How many years must he have trained? So, uh, I'm V, I guess. Uh, from the hive near the big tree. Oh, I am Kabu. I moved in just one moon ago from the north. Cool. Indeed. Um, Sir Maki said Snake Mouth was to the west, right? Should we get moving? Right, yeah. Let's go right away. Uh, don't fall behind, okay? Hey, wait. I don't even know what voice I'm doing for this guy. I'm not- I'm not doing the Larry voice. Hey, wait! Some- something wrong? You know what the goal of the Snake Mouth Expedition is, right? Alright, I hope you can find the ancient artifact the Queen is after. Good luck out there. Thank you. We will be back soon. I promise. I was doing cowboy voice? I don't know why I was doing a cowboy voice for this guy. A dysfunctional trio. Okay. Change the party leader by pressing X. You can check your inventory stats by pressing the plus button. Yeah! Little baby jumps. <sighs> Finally done. Sometimes work just doesn't stop coming. Uh, okay. Who are you again? Excuse ya, I'm Artis, and I keep this place running. Oh, thank you for all your hard work. Uh, yeah, thanks. So you two-faced Maki, eh? Bet you found it a tad too easy. You know it. I see you a lot like challenge. One sec, I have this one thing. Please take it. Oh, we could get more EXP by doing that. What's this? A uh, medal? Let's say it should make things more interesting for you. The higher the risk, the higher the reward, they say. If you defeated any powerful enemies while wearing it, come see me, alright? I won't say no to free stuff. You've got a deal. Thank you for entrusting us with it. Take care, artists. Safe exploring, folks. Remember to check in every now and then. Hmm, good showing. Not many people stand Maki's blade. Why, thank you. I assume you've endured it as well. Anyone who belongs to this association can at least say that much. Wow, so everyone here is crazy strong. Or they found a reliable partner to carry them. What? You trying to say something? Not at all. If you're offended by it, it only shows your insecurity. What's your deal? You want to fight? 
enough. V, we just got granted our permit. Let's not get into trouble. <laughs> Good luck, you two. You'll need it. Oh, Ari! Oh, I must mock you be so dreamy. Have you gone mad, Jen? He's just so arrogant. You tell her, Ari. Pompous as he was, he was at least kind enough to test us. Oh no, he does it to everyone. You see this once a week. Oh, Maki, such a show-off. Oh, that stupid role-playing wannabe gatekeeper. I'll show him. This will not stand. I shall challenge him to a duel of de to the death. Our honor on the line. Hey, you don't have to go that far. Oh, um, he's just kidding. Uh, right, uh, right, Kaboo? Uh, y yes, uh, of course. Kidding. I was most certainly only jesting. You better have been. Let's just go, Kaboo. I want to hit people. Gong. Hey, why are you hitting that crystal? You could break it, you know. You really don't know? Just tell us why. Forgive my partner, Celia. Her m mouth is most loose. This is an ancient crystal, correct? They're unique to this island. Correct. They can store the record of previous travelers if you smack them with something. This crystal is yellow, so it'll even he heal your wounds. You expect me to believe that? All that awesome stuff for hitting a rock? <laughs> you are one of little faith. Come on, Levi, show them! Hit people. It is done. Oh, it really works! This must sell for a fortune! All you'll get for this crystal is prison time. Only the Ant Queen can authorize placing these rocks in public spaces. Even if you find one in the wild, they are too heavy to be carried by a single bug. There goes that idea. Still, their properties are amazing. Let's use them when we can, V. Yeah, sure. Let's get a move on. Best of luck. Best of luck. I don't know what voices I'm doing for half of these people. I keep switching between because I'm just like, I don't know. Too many NPCs. Last night's rain was really heavy. We are very bu busy clearing up the path. Sorry for the inconvenience. <sighs> these rocks are getting in the way of the trade routes. If this isn't cleared soon, we will lose money. Get on with it, ants. This should never ha even happen. I understand my wife is upset, but there's nothing we can do until the rocks are cleared. <laughs> Check out to the city earlier. Now I have to wait until this mess is cleaned. I like to jump. I like to do a jump. It's a very cute looking game so far. Path ahead leads to Snake Mouth Den. Currently, only licensed exploration teams can pass. Do you have a permit? Hmm, alright, this checks out. I'll open up the gate. Safe travels, explorers. Jump on him. <laughs> I, I got one of them. Keep fucking up that attack. Oh! Whoa! Okay! Yeah, this is my trials. But, but, bebbies. Okay, got some bebbies. You killed it. There we go! That was a good hit. My Bebby collection. I would like some Bebbies. 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 Oh, I don't have enough skill points. Ugh, I fucked that up.
Oof. Nope. Ah. It's okay. Is this equipped? If I have it equipped, I get more EXP, which is what I'm looking to do, but, oh, I might be in over my head. Fat on. Right. Ooh, yeah! Ooh. Oh, they shit. Oh, shit, they share skill point. Uh-oh. Nope. Well, apparently I can't attack you. Goodbye. Ow. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be doing my doing hard mode. Yeah, my bebbies are getting... Get out of here. <laughs> I need to go back to the fucking crystal. I think, I think having hard mode on would be good for grinding, but uh, I definitely wouldn't be able to do hard mode bosses. But I feel like it's good to have it on right now, because I do- I do like the idea of having things for grinding. What am I supposed to do in front of the crystal? We'll save. Let's a go. Doing hard mode bosses gets you sick and cool rewards. Ooh. <sighs> we could try. I don't I, I don't want this to be like an overly grindy playthrough. I don't that's not how I like to do streams at all. Oh, that was a shitty throw. There we go. Ow! Please leave my bee alone. Get out of here! Yeah! <laughs> Give me my exploration points. I, I think we'll keep it on until I level up, then I think I'm fine. I mean, I don't know how long this area is. Yeah! I'm getting good at the boomerang, Dawson. I don't need to taunt. We do not need to aggravate these enemies. Oof. Didn't, didn't block in time. Alright, get out of here. Give me those babies. Taunt is not that useful in most cases. Excuse me, bug of old complexion. Is everything all right? Hey, Kaboo! We're supposed to be adventuring! Uh, Snake Mouth Dan, Endless Riches? Sorry, V. I cannot ignore an old bug in distress. Uh, first of all, name's Chuck, and I bet I'm younger than the both of you. But if you've gotta know... I'm almost done arranging my cozy rest space for travelers going to Snake Mouth Den. I can't just pull out- I just can't pull out this darn weed. Call this cozy? A Chuck, a Snake Mouth Den is more dangerous than rain on a wedding day. Shouldn't you be warning travelers? 
Oh, look, will you help me or not? I'm not doing any pulling, at least not for free. Hmm, watch this, V. If I press V near small bushes or rocks... Whoa, nice! Something like this is no match for my horn. Oh, B, you actually helped me! This made my week. You've got a reward ready, right? right? But, V, helping others is already its own reward. And also, you didn't do anything. It's really, really not. Oh, -ho! no worries! Helpful bugs deserve gratitude. I ain't got much, but please take this. Berries, so many berries. Use them to buy something nice later, alright? Thank you, we surely will. We'll be going now. Make sure to warn others of the danger. Honey drop. What was that? Yeah, honey drop. Honey produced in the bee kingdom. Makes you happy, but also fat. Okay. Oh, wait. Just keep Kaboo in the front. Whoa! Enemy gamers. V is probably going to die. Oof! We're both about to die. Oh! Alright, we need to get the fuck out of here. Well, I fucked that up. Nope. That first game over. Yikes. Well! I think it would probably be best if we turned hard mode off. As nice as the EXP would be. I, I, I've i said it before, I've never played like a Paper Mario game all the way through. I can't, I can't, I have to go through the fucking cutscene again. Ugh. Can't even break things yet. All right, switch order. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> appreciate it. Ooh. Yeah. I need these enemies to not be doing so much damage. Oh, that EXP gain is honestly not as low as I thought it was going to be comparatively. We're gonna get like half. That's still. That's only like one less. Okay, I can deal with that. That's not a huge drop in EXP like I thought it would be. Hard mode's more about the challenge, EXP was just a nice bonus. even need to go this hard on these enemies. Oof. Get out of here. Already getting back to about where we were in terms of experience. An egg. Kind of. Aphid egg. An egg from a happily raised aphid. 
make sure to eat it before it hatches. <laughs> well, you don't have to tell me twice. Is it gonna have like an earthbound mechanic where it can hatch and you just have noises following you the whole game? Do you guys remember that? I remember in some of my earliest playthroughs of Earthbound, it's aphid, okay. Uh, but I remember in my earliest playthroughs of Earthbound, like I would get the egg from the shop, and they were, the chick and then the chicken would hatch from it, and I they would make noises, and I had no idea this was a mechanic, so the whole time I was freaking the fuck out like, what the what the hell is making that noise? Aphids don't you sh really make noise, unfortunately. The aphid ha eggs do not hatch, regrettably. <laughs> oh no, I can't- I can't hear the aphids make noise the entire game. Head his ass. Ooh. Missed. Oof. Yeah. Go! Bump. To get a quick drink of water. Morkin's in the groove now. <laughs> Probably because I'm not on hard mode and getting absolutely blasted. Ooh, leaf. Crunchy leaf. All right. We had that before. We could probably also use that on Kaboo. Kaboo is, has taken a lot of damage. Here you go, Kaboo. This is it. Snake Mouth dead. It doesn't look that scary, you know? According to rumors I have heard, it is the grave of a thousand explorers. Having ended countless journeys, many a song have been written about its dangers. F for real? Its interior must absolutely be riddled with monsters and death traps. We must be extremely cautious. Jeez, way to sell, me sell it to me, Kaboo. But the higher the danger, the better the treasure. Hmm, it's true that the artifact is likely to be inside, but are simple riches worth such a risk to you? Stop trying to scare me off. Let's get in there. I must make sure she stays safe. Yeah, Ellie's playing Bug Fables too. I need to turn- I should probably turn off the notifications for when people are playing a game on my Switch. Uh, I still haven't done that. But it's like I like to know when I'm not streaming. Also, have fun yelling at Ellie. <laughs> hmm. There's much more light here. This room must be quite near the cracked ceiling. What a surprisingly cozy entrance. Uh, huh. Hey, Kaboo, do you really have to comment on every small thing? Uh, I... I'm sorry. Hey, hey don't look so sad. Uh, how about this? If I want to know more about where we are or something, or someone near us, I'll just tap minus. Sounds good? Very well. I will make sure to have information at hand for when you do. Cool, now let's keep going. Snake ba Mouth Den is quite dangerous, but this room's quite cozy. Let's go before you jinx it. Ooh! 
Is it out? Oh, we can get a double attack in. Okay. It's pays to have Kabu in the front. Yeah. Kabu's moe elements. Nothing of note from that. Ooh. Ooh. How's everyone? How's everyone doing tonight? This Thursday night. The bridge seems to be out. How are we going to cross? Well, well, that's it. Game over. Let's go back. Wait, V. Hold on. It's too soon to give up. There must be a way. Duh. I was kidding. You know. Look over there. It's one of those ancient switches. We just need to hit it. You can fly over to it, right? That's too much effort. I've got a much better plan. My matey Beamerang! I just need to get in front of... in front with X and press B to throw it. I will trust you with this then. Uh, give it your best shot. I need to... I need to d do more Ulbrich for his, in his inflection and less, uh... less Winston. Oh no, everyone's fucking sick. Shit. Well done, V. I wasn't expecting you to do that. Um, yeah, of course. Just as planned. Let's continue. I'm glad to have a, a reliable partner. So I assume now we can throw the beamerang. Yeah. That's a question mark. Who knows? Ow! It attacked us. Ow! Kabo, stay fucking safe. You could go back and throw the beam ring to get the berry on the pillar. I didn't know there was a berry on a pillar. Shows how much I pay attention. Ooh, yeah! Ow. Yeah! Roly poly. You wouldn't want to play this, you'd feel bad hitting the little guys. This game's fucking twisted. But I understand. Where was a berry on a pillar? It's fucked up. Oh, that thing. It's like a funny joke that I could make about whoa, it uses the boomerang instead of the 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 wings. Uh, there's a part in the B movie where the girl asks Barry Jerry Seinfeld B, uh, why don't why don't you just fly everywhere? Why don't you just fly everywhere? And then Jerry Barry Seinfeld says, whoa, why don't you run everywhere? There's my joke. Ooh, awesome. Yeah! Cherry berry. I was trying to make it sound as fucked up as possible. Almost got a level up going. 
I can already imagine this being one of the more chill playthroughs I do. Well, I can't do anything with that. We've reached a dead end. Uh, but it's ancient ruins, so not really. Right. If we leave no stone unturned, we will open up a path. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, now we need a second rock. Where the hell do I get that? Not there. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wait. I think I saw something. That's... That's it. There we go! Oh, no. Don't move both. There we go. Oh, cool. Uh, mushroom. What? We did all this for that? Seriously, it wasn't even a rare item. Heck, it wasn't even a rare mushroom. Who designed this place? I will sting them in their face. I'll tear the place down! Uh, come now, V. Unfortunate as, as it may be, let's pick it up and start looking again. Huh? Oh, uh, what? Ah! Whew, that was close. Uh. Kaboo, are, are you okay? Uh, I guess he is. Hmm. This is the perfect time to go home. I don't like the look of that place. But I'm as a reliable teammate. Ugh, I'm going to regret this. Don't insult a mushroom. Ugh. No rush. I can wait. Ugh. I am lucky this mushroom broke my fall. I would have carried you, but you seem really heavy. I assure you I am lighter than I seem. Uh-huh. Anyways, this place is really creepy. I must agree. There doesn't seem to be a way back up for me. We'll have to look around. Uh, let's be careful, okay? You are almost a goner. Oh, good thing she issued a crystal to be in this dark cave. Uh-oh. Yikes! Is that a moth? By the queen! What a terrible fate! A moment of silence and solidarity for a fallen explorer. Alive! Quick, we must free him. Okay, I'm just gonna see if the be beamerang can cut through the web. I will make sure there are no other survi- uh, V, watch out! And the spider. Uh, uh, spider! How could a beast so huge sneak up on us? Kaboo! We've gotta run! Treasure ain't worth this! It's not that. We, we can't abandon this poor moth to his fate. I... I... Uh... Bye. V... V, wait! Ugh, curses. This has to be some cruel irony. However, I can't give up, even if I'm alone.
Well, I'm doing zero damage to the spider. It is stronger than it looks. Crud, it's too high up. If only V was here. Must I really sit here and do nothing? It's too much by myself after all. Everyone, I... I failed. You wasted your hopes on me. V! Look, I... By the holy jaws of the Queen V, you left me to my fate. You're vile. Hey, I was going to apologize, and I came back, right? You pushed me away from the web, but I still left, so I'm... I will probably scold you later. The situation is dire, but I've got a plan. We will attack the web holding the moth while battling the spider. And we bail when we free him. Precisely. Except we'll run together this time, without leaving anyone behind. I apologized already! Here it comes! Let's do this! Let me show you my real power. I hope this isn't hurting the moth. Eat the egg. You'll be okay. Oh, I could have restored poison with the mushroom. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Well, I may be an idiot, but I'm not stupid. Nope. Remember the plan. We must attack the web holding the moth captive. Alright, we did it! Be gone, wretched beast! Kaboo! I'm done here! Well done. Let's get out of here! Leave us alone already, monster! Glad it's too fat to come in here. Um, Kaboo, uh, sorry for running away. Uh, very well. You're forgiven, V. It was understandable. Took you long enough. Most people would be crying at getting rescued. <coughs> Let's turn over a leaf, new, new leaf, V. This moth is our priority. You're awake. What the? Hey, you okay? You hit your head? Uh, could this moth be speaking in an ancient tongue? Perhaps he is of the fabled tribes lurking underground. Singing smoke to come. Um, what voice should I do for the moth? I don't have a lot of voices I can do for anything. I have like, I have like three variations of the Winston voice. And that's about it. 
Let's just do my normal voice. Royal? What? N no, we can speak Bugnish. Do you need, like, a minute? No. We are fine now. Thank goodness, Yara's quite worried. Where are we? Where's the spider? Right, uh, let's get you up to speed. Royal people use we instead of I. Oh. I was just like, what are you talking about? Truly, it seems we owe our life to you, V. Seriously? No big deal. It sucks that we're trapped, though. Were you looking for treasure as well, alongside fellow explorers? Uh, what's your name? Leaf is fine. And somewhat. A, a scouting mission, in fact. You got some luck to be alive. Did you learn anything scouting about the artifact? Artifact? If it is here, it's probably ahead. If we work together, we will surely both find it both it. We will surely find both it and the exit. We have little choice. We will accompany you. Can you fight? Not really part of scouting. Seriously? You came into this place without knowing how to fight? Perry says they're British. Perry says Leaf is British? <laughs> also, shout out to Perry. Perry's the one who got me to uh, buy this game. Or rather, Perry bought the game for me. I don't know why I said Perry got me to buy the game. Perry's the one who got me the game. That's what I meant to say. Make sure to stay behind us so we can protect you. How reassuring. Okay, we've spent too much time here. Uh, let's look for the exit. I wouldn't know how to do a British voice. Right, what's all this then? Fucking British. I can't do a British voice. It's impossible. You're not gonna get one out of me. It's just not happening. Realistically, it cannot happen. Hello, YouTube! Whoop. Nope. You dead as hell. Get out of here. Almost a level up. Come on, let's get that level up. Honey drop. out of here. Ooh. First level up! Yeah! Rank up! Ooh. What do I want? I want teamwork points. So I could use the boomerang thing more. I think next level up will do health points. I learned secret stash. my thoughts right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm focusing a bit too much on the game. I should be I should be interacting with chat more. How's everyone doing tonight? How how y'all how y'all holding up? It's Thursday. Got eight exploration points. Probably going to be do gr doing grinding for a bit. What a weird tablet. It's what an even weirder language. It seems to be an ancient script. Hmm, these letters look familiar to us. We should be able to decipher it. Let us check it again. 
Pressing B in battle allows you to change who is currently acting without changing the party order. Each party member has different ways of attacking and different reaches for their attacks and skills. Mind who is currently acting to not waste actions on the wrong enemy. Okay. Pain is going away a little bit, that's always good. Fucking everyone, take care of yourself. Shit's been rough lately. I mean, I've been fine. But, the world is fucked. That's my PSA. I'm not... <laughs> wasn't a very good one, but... Yeah, just make everyone take care of themselves. Do it. Attack this guy. What's a secret stash to do? V heals 4 HP to an enemy while curing poison with an item from her secret stash. This does not consume normal items. Ooh. That's really good. So thanks for the host, man. Let's get this guy out of here. I fucked that up. Ooh. Block that at least. V's not very happy right now. We should fix that immediately by knocking this guy out, out of his fucking face. The boomerang toss I can do quite well. Oh. Oh. Oh, that didn't do anything. Oh, you know what? I probably have to knock him over with Kabu, and then I can attack with V. That makes sense. I understand now. No, I get it. Don't worry, I'm smart. Also, hi! Hi, new. Welcome to the stream. Oh. Now, hello to you, Rise. I, I don't know if that's how you say your username, but... All right, what was that? What's that health we got? We got a heart. HP pluck. Ooh. Fuck yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna give that to V. I feel like she needs health more than Kabu does. Kabu's been doing all right in the HP department, and also enemies do not like targeting him for some reason. Oh, that's not true. They've been targeting him, but it's more dire if V gets hit. Name's Welsh. It's hard to pronounce. Yeah, I assume I didn't pronounce that correctly, but welcome, welcome. Always nice to see a new face around. Get some bebbies. Oh! Someone's hiding in the rock. Hey! Oh, shit! <laughs> it surprise attacked me. Fuck. Okay, V, you're fine. You're fine. We knock this guy over. You throw a beamerang. It's fine. We're all okay. Get our points. Honey drop. Hitting an enemy outside of battle will stun it for a short amount of time. Entering battle while an enemy is stunned grants one more action to the party leader. I feel like it's probably be... Oh, probably not easiest. If, if the enemy is at a distance, then it should be easy with the beamerang to get first attacks. Otherwise, we're gonna have to do it with Kabo. Where do I... I know I have to go to that high area platform, but can I jump there? I don't feel like I can. Oh, wait, I think I see what I have to do. Hit the boomerang on this thing. Yeah! I'm a genius. I can figure out the baby game puzzle. I have at least three IQ. That's all the points they gave me. They took the rest of them.
Nice work, everyone. Leaf, watch out! What the heck? By the great ancestors. What kind of sorcery is that? We, uh, are unsure. This is new. Okay. Emily needed a Wii remote, don't worry about it. You seriously expect us to believe that? Uh, we mean, uh, it's the truth. Magic's no common feat. There are less than ten known sorcerers in history. You're not some criminal with a huge bounty, are you? You seriously believe that? We'll talk later. I take it you can fight now? We'll try. Wait, everyone. Now that we're a trio, let me share a useful technique. With turn relay picked from the colorful flower, one of us can lend our turn to another. How is that useful? Sounds tedious. Well, for example, we could let V attack twice to knock down flying enemies. <laughs> you should let me attack three times. I'll take care of all of them. You shouldn't abuse it like that, though. The exhaustion will reduce your attack power by one every time you act around. Ah, fine. Well, it sounds mildly useful. We'll try it out. Now, on your guard! Okay. Bump. Yeah! And Kaboo, you will turn Relay to V. Oh, I fucked that up. How much is this game? I believe it was 25 on the eShop. I'm not sure how much it is on Steam, but on the eShop it's 25 bucks. Oh, I see how that works. See how the ice works. Get the jelly shrooms out of there. Be getting it on Switch anyway. It's understandable. Goodness, that magic isn't a joke. It's pretty cool. If you truly couldn't do it before, this den is hiding more secrets than I first thought. Everything's just too suspicious. I don't believe Leaf yet. We weren't telling the truth. If we had ice magic, that accursed spider wouldn't have caught us. I say, let's focus on getting out alive. We can collect our thoughts when we're safe. Very well. If you need us to freeze anything, press B while we are leading. I guess it's fine for now. Onward! I can almost smell the treasure! I like these guys. I like these characters so far. Frozen enemies can't be stunned, but can be climbed on or used to hold switches. Ooh. Eep! It's not funny! Ugh, I'm all soaked now. S sorry, V. I couldn't help it. It seems the ceiling's drippings. Ugh, why is there so much water in here? Under us? Above us? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. This is good, though. But what do you mean? If it's water... Then it can be frozen. Impressive! If you can do that, it opens a lot of options for us. I bet I can push them with my horn as well. That's pretty cool, Leaf! Hmm. <laughs> Enemies, the water around us... Even though they seem like obstacles, we can exploit them for our own benefit. Let's give your ice magic a try on all we can find. craftsmanship on this statue is pretty good, compared to everything else at least. That is, it's a shame this monument outlived its creators. Yeah, you only hear about roaches in folk tales nowadays. Pardon? When did the roaches disappear? A bit before I was born, I think. So pretty recently. Hey! 
It was indeed quite a recent event. No one knows for sure how, the how or why, however. This is depressing talk. We should really find a way out. This can't be right. This room is gigantic. Indeed. It's hard to know where to go. When in doubt, go left. No way! Right is right! Given the way this cave has been laid out, and I believe we will have to go both ways. What a drag. No joke! Let's just stop and then explore some more. Approaches when extinct? That's ironic. Yeah, that's not going to happen in real life. Roaches are gonna outlive us. Yep. It unfroze itself. Ooh. Well, I need to flip this guy over anyways. Oh, okay, it'll give me a random button prompt. That's how that guy works. Yeah. Don't die, motherfucker. I'm probably gonna wanna put the, uh... HP metal on Leaf. Because I do like me a good mage. Oh, fuck. Wrong button. Oh, I killed him anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, this game definitely has some really great characters. my frozen platforms don't seem to leave. So when I fuck up the platforming segment, it doesn't matter that much. Would you like to save? Absolutely. Let's get him! These zombie ants take a lot of hits. Get out of here. Oh, I don't wanna I don't wanna tornado toss. This thing has a straight 10 out of 10 review score on Steam, really. I mean I'm not surprised, but holy shit. reviews are not always, like, the best source for, like, you know, how great a game is. Just because Steam is, like, terrible for discoverability in general, I'd say this game probably earns a high score, but I feel like it's also important to keep in mind that Steam is kind of, uh, terrible for discovering anything because they just keep putting, like, garbage on there. Like, oh man, I could play pussy too. They tend to be overly negative rather than positive. Not really. Steam reviews, absolutely not. I mean, fuck. Usually when you see, like, overly negative scores for, like, really good games, it's because they have, like, DRM or sh some shit. Steam reviews, from my experience, are usually, like, way over positive. Ooh! I need you to attack this guy. They can be trolly too. Yeah, sometimes people just give good scores to like bad rats, and you just have to live with that. Let's 
super. Whoa, it's like Super Mario! Super Mario! I wonder if this game is inspired by any Mario games. That'd be crazy. Thought I was joking about Pussy 2. Come on. I would never joke about Pussy 2. That's a real game. There's some, like... There, there's, like... So many games that are just, like, straight-up porn on Steam. I do not recommend looking into, like, Steam sex games. There's so much for no reason. There's, like, some like, insanely horny devs on Steam. And there's, like, literally no quality control for any of it. Not good porn, either. Oh my god, I remember Wayne Radio TV, great streamer. Uh, he did, like, a video on a bunch of, like, terrible, absolutely terrible fucking, uh, Steam VR sex game. Oh, of course it was his brother Wyatt, though. But yeah, Steam has some fucking wretched, wretched games like that. Well, since both of them are alive, we could do some skills. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Isn't Honey Pop, like, basically bejeweled hentai? I mean, I know Honey Pop is, like, like a porn game, but is it hentai? I don't- I didn't- I didn't play Honey Pop. I have no reason to play Honey Pop, but... I feel like I would remember that, but I don't, so I have no idea. I just remember, like, every YouTuber that has, like, an audience of children played it. You always said it like, uni pop. I I just say it. I, I mean, I just I just say it how I how I say things. If that's not how you say it, oh well. <laughs> Maybe a bit a little biased because you have no interest in booby lady games, but trust me, they're poorly made asset games. Not a native speaker here. That's f it's understandable. I, I am, I, despite the fact that I have, I am working towards an English degree and I do fairly well in my English courses, I am, an, I should not be your source for how to say things necessarily. I just kind of say things how I say they think they sound nice. For example, Shinizel from Pokemon. That's not how you say that name, but I, th I think saying Shinizel is way more fun. So don't, don't take me as the authority on saying things. Let's do the, let's do the ice magic. Yeah. Nine exploration points. Huh. Ooh. Turn the crystal on, gain its energy. Is everyone all right? Did we cause the tremor? I guess it was a pretty big switch. Must have made progress in unlocking the door. Let's keep going. Oh no, it's straight up porn. That's what this- that's what the Steam sex- the Steam sex games are like a whole rabbit hole. Where am I going now? This is also a PG-13 stream, so we should probably end this conversation, but yeah. Okay, 
so we go to the left now. sound like playing them is a good indicator that you're in a really, really dark time in your life. <laughs> I feel like if you play one of those, like, you're permanently in a dark part of your life. Like, there's no- I don't think there's any recovering from being the guy who's playing sex VR games on Steam. I feel like when, once you do that, it's all over. Oh, I don't have enough to do that. Well, at least they're all down. You wanna have faith in them? I'll be the, I'll be the cynic for you. Block it. Super. I have like so many like shitty not not related to sex. Not not sex games, but I have so many shitty like asset flip Steam games that I got just because I was like, oh these are 20 cents, that's funny. And this was before like I be I was like sentient. <laughs> It was, like, before I was super aware of, like, just how bad the problem was on Steam with how much garbage just gets shoveled on it. Um. <laughs> so, like, I was just like, ah ha, -ha this will be funny. Just play a bunch of bad Steam games. What is your definition of sentient? Ah, uh, whenever I became 18. I wasn't sentient before I became an adult. Wii too! It's even worse than the Wii because Steam keeps like uploading, like they keep trying to increase how many games they put on there. Like I remember one year they were like, ah oh, yeah, we got like over 30,000 games in one year. And it's like, that's not a good thing. That's- that shows, like, a complete lack of quality control. What are you doing, man? What are you doing, Gabe? You're falling asleep at the wheel. Yeah, Wii doesn't have homophobia simulator. <laughs> there have been straight-up vile things on, like, the Steam- Steam store. Like, oh my god. I mean, they did put Fire Emblem on the Wii, but Radiant Dawn was one of the good ones. Or I heard- I heard it was hard as fuck. That's what I know about Radiant Dawn. I never played Radiant Dawn because I didn't finish Path of Radiance. Pa the- Path of Radiance and Radiance Dawn- Radiant Dawn are the ones with Ike. If they put fates on the Wii, then it'd be homophobia simulator. I think I see what I have to do here. Yeah. Isn't Ike super gay? Yeah. Basically. Frozen enemies cannot act, and they take increased damage when hidden in battle. However, hitting an enemy while it is frozen will thaw it out immediately. Okay. <clears throat> Come fight me. I need to heal up V. What am I doing? Oh, 
Can I not flip over the other guys? Oh, Ike is in Fates, actually. He's an amiibo you can scan in. No, V V I is correct. That's how you say. That's how you spell V's name. I'm in danger. That doesn't count. Yeah. It was weird how they handled the amiibos in that game. That's actually what started me as an amiibo collector, because you know, I I I was young. I was innocent. I had hopes Fire Emblem Fates would be good. Those hopes were dashed. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I got the Marth and the Ike Amiibo first. Those were my first Amiibos. They were the Amiiboys. Um, and, like, you could recruit them as, like, actual units in the game. But since they didn't have any support conversations, they were kind of just worse than everyone else. Because the whole thing with supports is, you know, they can be powered up when they're closer to other characters. You have fates, but you never played through it. I don't recommend it. I, 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 I have so many problems with Fire Emblem Fates. It's insane. I don't think there's ever been a single game in my life where I've had, like, where I've said, had more negative to say about it. Three Houses is pretty good. I, I liked Three Houses. I only played through the Black Eagles. I'd like to play it again sometime, but instead I was like, I I'm gonna play Fire Emblem Warriors again. I just started playing it again today. Yeah, f three houses are pretty good. I think mostly the problem with three houses, aside from some weird shit, is uh, it kind of extends itself a bit too much. It's it's almost a bit too overambitious with what it tries to do. There's like so much in it it's like oh my god it, yeah it's so fucking long and like there's four different routes you can do all that start like like the first half of each route is basically the exact same it's rough um have mutuals in the love fire emblem but hate fire emblem category and they claim the more you analyze three houses the more it falls apart probably I don't know, I haven't fought that hard on three houses, so maybe. Nope, oh, wrong, wrong button. <laughs> awesome! Yeah! In two ways, badly structuring the story, but also having a bad message to tell. Yeah, it is true that Fire Emblem Three Houses fans are hell. I don't engage with Fire Emblem fandom, and I'm much happier for that. I'd have to I'd have to do the other routes in three houses to tell you if if it has like a bad moral or something. But I mean most of the Fire Emblem games like messages are war is bad.
Like Big Bug Man. Kaboo? The Beetle? Let's go in. Yeah, that's Kaboo. Hmm. None of us can jump that high. Oh, you can hear Fergie outside. He's, 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 he just got out. The doggies unleashed. I mean, could just attack the jelly shroom. While we're waiting for it to unfreeze. Oh, fuck. I can't attack the jelly shroom even though it's on the ground. Yeah. Beetles are your favorite power-up from Kirby Triple Deluxe. Kirby Triple Deluxe I never played for some reason. It's one of the few Kirby games I've never played. For some reason, when it came out, I just wasn't interested in it. And I'm really sad about that, because I watched Chugga Conroy's Let's Play of it, and I was like, oh, this looks great, actually. Why the fuck did I skip on this? I think it would be best to do Icefall on these fuckers. Yeah! Well, I only got two. That's fine. Yeah! There we go. Seems like Kaboo is only capable of attacking things that are directly in front of him. Shit. Wrong button. I should do a Kirby game on stream. I don't think I've done any Kirby games on stream. Why haven't I? I love Kirby. Kirby is one of those like franchises I've been playing since I was like a little baby. Do Kirby Superstar Ultra. I should. I really should. Although I heard that in the uh Overclocked DS, not an emulator. Do not sue Doug. Uh I heard that the cutscenes are a bit fucked up. They don't emulate quite properly. Of course this is talking about my Overclocked DS, not an emulator. Uh but I would still be willing to do it. I mean, the cutscenes aren't, like, the big selling point of that game. I'd be down to do that one of these days. Could this be the artifact? Some sort of mask? Doesn't really seem special or valuable. That is true, we did do Subspace Emissary. Leaf? Are you alright? Yes, this mask has very potent magic. We reacted strongly to it. That settles it then. This is probably the real artifact. Dibs! Leaf shouldn't touch it anyways. The queen has claimed it already, V. The queen. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. You have found the ancient mask. The Pope! I love Pope. Uh-oh. You have a disease. Oh, dear. Curses! It's a trap! We need to leave! And quickly. <laughs> yeah! 
You! S seriously, the spider? Oh, this is the worst possible timing. We disagree. It's the perfect time for payback. If it won't let us escape, we might as well defeat it. But but last time we had to run! We are stronger now. Uh, the... the... And Leaf is with us. Some battles we cannot run from. Uh, Alright, let's take it out before the room floods. <laughs> this game is not for arachnophobes. Ooh, we could do it. Double ice foam. Yeah, fuck it. If, if you're on a arachnophobe, buying a game called Bug Fables is not the brightest idea, yeah. Also makes a lot of sense for spiders to be like a big boss in this game. Considering I, th I think the bugs would also agree that they are the big bads. A fly would definitely not appreciate a spider. Hey, I can do that, idiot. Yeah, all Morgans around the world don't like bees. If I don't like bees, no one else can. It's not that I don't like bees, they just scare the shit out of me. Doesn't mean I don't respect them and what they do for our environment. Well, out of magic, or teammate points, rather. Stop chomping at me. Do I have any items that could heal? Yeah! The honey drops do. Let's do that. Although I probably should have done that with Kaboo. Kaboo seems like the kind who's more bulky. Whatever, though. Whatever! In fact, we'll do it once on his turn. Ooh, he summoned enemies. Ow. Oh, we all got poisoned from that. Well, that's what we have mushrooms for. Do the secrets dead. <laughs> I'm just healing everyone this turn. Get rid of the poison. Oof. I really hope that jelly shroom doesn't go after. Leave! Oh, okay, that was for V. Oof. Heal up, Leaf. Oof. They're really going after Leaf, specifically. Do we have any more honey drops? Yes, we do. So we can get another freeze in there. Ah, oh, shit, I missed the spider. Well, I got the jelly shroom, at least. This guy won't be able to attack this turn. Oh, no, no never mind. Ah, Stop going after Leaf! Ooh, got an awesome, though. Ooh, okay. We're fine. We're fine! As long as nobody teleports any bread. Yeah!
Don't have any more TP. Funny toilet paper joke. Okay. Please don't summon more enemies! Oof! Alright, Kaboo, do you- do we have an item? We have... the leaf. Oh, you can't attack. You have nothing you can do. Well, try spying. This may be un becoming of us, but after so long, we're finally going to get revenge. For all the time we spent inside that cocoon, you will suffer tenfold. As long as V keeps it knocked down, we will attack it without a hint of mercy. Oh, right, because V has to knock it down. Fuck. I'm an idiot. Ow. Ooh, and if we spy, we can get a... We can get an idea of how many hit points it has left. So you have four HP left. Okay. Yeah, we could just do normal attacks on you then. You're dead. Get out of here. Killed the spider! We... We did it! For real this time! <laughs> we really did it! Oh, what a scare, but working together, we were victorious. We did it. Thank you. We don't know much of what's happened to us, but beating up that spider was a great stress relief. No problem, I was gonna beat it up anyways. And we got the treasure too! Treasure two! C curses We forgot about the flood! We should probably leave while we can. Aw, oh, heck. Ah! No! The adventurous duo, V and Kaboo, dove into Snakemouth Den for their team's first exploration mission, a place known for having consumed many previous explorer that had dared to enter. Even so, the team stuck together and were surprised with a new friend, Leaf. Together, they found one of the fabled artifacts that the Ant Queen has been looking for. Triggering a trap, they defeated the vile spider before being swept away. What will happen to this trio who met due to chance? Will they stick together in their journey? Little do they know that their adventure is just starting. End of chapter one. What how many chapters there are in this game? I'm gonna try looking that up and hopefully I don't get spoiled on anything. Like, that's playing with fire, but eh. Okay, there's seven chapters. That's a pretty short chapter one. Ugh, what? V, Leaf, are you alright? Uh, I'm all soaked. Cripes, we really got lucky. I'm a bit hazy, but we got the artifact. Uh, then that spider attacked. E the, the artifact! I, I dropped it! Leaf, did you grab the artifact? Seriously, V? Worry about the artifact later. Let's make sure Leaf is okay first. <coughs> Next time, we'll just freeze the whole dumb river. Whew, I'm so relieved to see you well. So, did you catch the artifact, or... Uh, the artifact? It's over there. Yeah! Alrighty, not a scratch. Your concern is touching, V. Oh, drop it. You look super fine. Well, at least we've completed our mission. Ugh, we're gonna need a good rest. After we figure out where we are. If we recall, this is close to the Ant Kingdom. We should get back to the city pr pretty quickly. It's nice to feel the sun again. It'll be good to go back. Honestly, V may be raving about this artifact. But saving you is the true victory in my eyes. Um, thanks? Jeez, calm down over there. Let's report to the queen and get our reward. Lysant. Hmm? 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 
should head to the Ant Kingdom. Do you smell some shipping potential? I will leave- I will leave that to the viewers. Spicy Berry. Boosts an ally's attack for two turns. Ooh. That'd be pretty good for V. Yeah, I'll leaf it to you. <laughs> also, you missed... Yeah. Kaboo's a very selfless man. <laughs> V's two dads. You are my dad. You're my dad. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Oh, it's you guys. I guess I'm doing the Larry voice for this guy now. Oh, goddesses, you're all right. I, I couldn't stop worrying ever since you left. It was a rocky journey, what with the flood. No kidding, I don't want to see Rivers for a while. We're glad to finally be out of there, at least. Rivers, you've got- you're some lucky bugs! But, uh, V, Kaboo, who's this? Oh, Edel, this is Leaf. We found him trapped in- trapped in Snake Mouth. So you did make it into Snake Mouth! Honestly, we thought you'd bail. Going to Snake Mouth is crazy. Bailing would- Bailing would have been a good idea, really. Well, we did, and we got the artifact. Uh, ha ha Nice one, V! Uh, what? I impossible! You actually made it into Snake Mouth's diffs? Yeah, we did! In your face, Edel! How sports bugs like. V, it is folly to boast. It's folly to tell me I can't do something. Um, so is it like the real deal? Yeah, it's quite like another artifact we've been getting looking into. That must be the genuine deal. It's just like the Neolith was saying. Hmm? I was just thinking that you should go see the Queen right away. She will be beyond ecstatic. It has been some time since we last saw the Queen. Wait, actually, looking around, we don't recognize that structure over there. Was it built recently? What? You mean the Association? It has been there for many moons. You are not from around here, are you? We are. We recognize this place, but something feels off. You're just fuzzy from the cave. I bet it'll come back to you. Edel, what about Leaf? I heard that exploration teams can only have two members. Oh, that! Well, it's unusual, but you did conquer Snake Mouth. It's been a goal for ages. Why do they only let exploration teams have two people? This is even more stingy than rescue teams in fucking Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Christ. I suppose that. Alright, with my authority as the Association's caretaker, in honor of your feet, I grant you Team Snake Mouth the perk of being able to have three team members. Team Snake Mouth? A proper explorer team name. Uh, yay. Well, that's that! Let's go see the Queen! She must know that the artifact was found! Oh, I'm so jealous! I hope the reward is good. <laughs> it better be. Let us go, then. I wish you could rename to this Team Snit Mash Mouth. I would rename them to Team Snakewood, because I'm evil. Yeah, yeah so walk through the plaza should help. We need more information. Snakewood after the classic Pokemon ROM hack, Pokemon Snakewood. I did a stream of it a long time ago. I say a long time ago, it was like Halloween last year, so it wasn't that long ago, but I mean, the stream isn't that old either. Back in business, check out what we have in stock. Stand near an item and press A. If you want to sell stuff, talk to my husband about it. Spicy Berry, Burly Berry, Magic Seed. Ooh! I'll take it. Yeah, give me a revive. Favorite to those who know when to retreat. Makes fleeing battles a little easier. Mm, I don't think we need that because we're playing on normal mode. If I was playing on hard mode, I'd probably go for some fleas, but right now I'd like to be very flea free. Okay. We could buy a second one. Oh, 
play a second one. Was getting Paper Mario vibes, and now there's Mystery Dungeon vibes. Yeah. That's kind of why I made my title, the title of the stream, a little mockingly at a lot of people who are like, Oh, this is the new Paper Mario! This is exactly what you've been waiting for! Because it's like, I get the sentiment, but I also feel like, you know... You could compare anything to anything, and like, yeah, it definitely has Paper Mario inspirations, but I feel like the game should be allowed to stand on its own, you know? So far, I think this game is strong enough to stand on its own and not just be like, oh, it's, it's Paper Mario! It's like, yeah, it's definitely Paper Mario inspired and plays like Paper Mario, but... The little guy on the right- OH I SEE HIM! Oh, Yeah! Alright everyone, the palace is through that gate ahead! Let's hurry it up then, it's big reward time! Ready to go, Leaf? You seem a bit pale. You don't need to worry, let's go. Yeah, I'd like to save. Probably gonna have to get Fergus inside, so apologies if I, uh to take a BRB. I also didn't have a BRB prepared for this game. I probably should have done that before just streaming it, but whatever. I'm gonna be making BRBs tomorrow. It'll be fine. I wish I could just make fry cook honey for dinner every night. Hmm, agreed. Maybe we should give him two honey drops instead of one. Th don't do that. It's dangerous. What harm could some more honey do? Look, don't ask me. Just don't do it. Hey, you're explorers, right? That's so cool. Someday I want to be an explorer too. Adorable. Please talk to Tiny Guy. Oh, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Peeboo. 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 You know, like Peeboo. Oh, visitors. Are you interested in the plays at the theater? No time. Let's head to the castle for now. We mustn't keep the queen waiting. The cast in this game is so charming. I, I'm in love with these characters. Oh, if it isn't Edel, a V and Kabu too. Aki, perfect timing! And the news spread quickly. So, you two succeeded. You conquered Snake Mouth. You've made a friend, even. You bet we did! You were all worried for nothing. It seems my intuition was correct. I am quite relieved. I have arranged a meeting with the Queen for you. She's expecting us right now. Well, since Maki is going with you, I guess it's back to work for me! Thank you for accompanying us, Edel. No problem! Stay out of trouble, alright? Well then, let us go. Lead the way. I wish we could get the guy with the sword. Is the queen a bitch? I don't know. We need to meet her. Before we can make that determination. I really like this castle. Maki, there you are. You know the queen hates waiting. Please forgive us for the delay. We're ready, though. Then you wouldn't mind if we stepped right in. No objections. The sooner we answer our doubts, the better. That'll do. Let us proceed, then. Ooh. You now stand before your majesty, Queen Elizant II. So it's true. Hmm, so you're the brave ones who found the Snake Mouth artifact. Wonderful, so very wonderful. Lieutenant, you are dismissed. You have your own business to attend to. Time is precious. Let us not waste it. The artifact, you may hand it over. Nuh uh, I want to see the reward first. V, v have you gone mad? Pierce a child! How dare you refer to the queen in such a manner? 
<laughs> a feisty one, aren't you? Few dare to speak to me, with, to me with such insolence. Maki, you truly have a keen judge of character. Count your blessings, explorer. Few do I spare the rod and respect their accomplishments. Your majesty, they are not worthy of being in your presence, much less your pardon. Stay put, Zariant. They accomplished what your squad failed to do, didn't they? Ugh. Do not forget your place, young bee. Complete the transaction quickly. Ah, a clue into the everlasting sapling my mother spent her life looking into. Such beauty. Beauty which should belong to the ant kingdom. Here, you've earned this. Crystal berry. You got 30 babies. Whoa, this is a ton! Brave explorers, you've performed a valiant task. Your place in the history of our kingdom is assured. Congratulations, it is praise well earned. Uh, of course. Thank you, your highness. <laughs> First be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, thanks. Could we ask something, though? I suppose we could afford time for one question. What would it be? Your highness! What is the fuss about? Urgent news! Confidential information! It's about that! That, you say? Come hither. I see! Maki, I leave you to your mission. While you're at it, inform Artis that the next expedition is confirmed. Of course, I shall move out at once, your highness. You three, I'll bless you with a head start. Zariant, brief them about the Golden Hills expedition. Heed me. Reports state that an ancient artifact lurks in the Golden Hills. This is a small rural settlement behind our kingdom. It can be reached through a tunnel south from the Explorers Association. Uh, isn't that Bee Kingdom territory? Do not dare interrupt us again, child. The Bee Kingdom is our close ally. They are, of course, aware of our expedition. Now, Talk to the locals, obtain information, and seize the artifact, no matter the cost. Have you understood my command? Alright then, take this map, just in case. Although I hope you know how to head south. Uh, thanks. So about our question. Whatever it was, I'm sure can wait. This is of utmost importance. Head out. Do not make your majesty repeat herself. Move out. Jeez, alright, let's go. Indeed, it, it'd be unwise to anger our queen. Sacred Golden Hills. Alright, this is probably not like that bold of a bold of a prediction, but the queen is almost definitely evil. Like I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the queen is evil. Leaf might have a history with her. We're not sure yet. He hasn't, he hasn't disclosed those details. All right, we did it! Look at all these berries! <laughs> <laughs> I got a big scare earlier, but I have to admit, we did really well. We've got to celebrate! Maybe in the Golden Hills Festival. Th that's right! How fortunate that our expedition would line up with such an occasion. Uh, Leaf, you could pretend to be happy or something. V, Kabu, may we confess something? Hmm? When our... I accidentally muted? How did I do that? How did I accidentally mute myself? Sorry about that. We hoped we were just fuzzy, but walking around has confirmed it. Leaf. And this new queen, she rubs us the wrong way. Shh, 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 you can't just say that in here. Elizant the first was kind and understanding. This new queen doesn't quite live up to her. Sorry, too much has changed. We didn't get a chance to ask anything either. Hikes, what should we do? This isn't normal at all. Leaf, I cannot understand the pain you are feeling. Perhaps there is no one who can, but come with us. Maybe as we explore, we'll find the truth behind what has happened to you. Uh, yeah, maybe there's clues around or something. 
All right, once again, we're left with little choice. You're fun to be around, at least. Well, yeah. Thank you, Leaf. Together we conquered Snake Mouth, and together we will figure this out. For now, for now, let's just focus on this mission. We'll be okay. Yeah, let's head south for clues and glory. Why are you guys talking about it in this room? Get some damn privacy. Please, let me say thank you. In the name of many good bugs lost to Snake Mouth, it's a real- What the fuck happened? Why does it keep muting me? Oh, I accidentally keep pressing the space bar on my keyboard, which keeps muting me. Okay, well, I'm keeping my controller away from my keyboard. <laughs> Your mic hates you. It's OBS. It's not my mic. And OBS definitely hates me. This is a wretched program. I love it to death, but it's also wretched. S sorry about that. <laughs> well now, Leaf. After all you've gone through, you must be famished. Well, he ain't the only one. We should grab something to eat. Yeah, it would also be good, a good time to prepare for the trip, would it not? Yep, and the commercial area is right over there. Also, good night, Atticus. Thanks for hanging out. Indeed, and it's got it's got it all: medals, items, and even a chef. With what all that's been going on, a little shopping wouldn't be the worst. Just go easy on the budget. Anyways, let's go hit up Fry for some food. This item does nothing. Oh, I don't know what's in there. Why does Twitch desktop not default to typing? Why do we need an M to mute shortcut and you need to click on a tiny text box? That's how it is sometimes. Oh, here's a guy. Howdy! Have you heard of our special ant storage offer for the month? For a limited time, we're letting you sign up for a junior account. You can store and take out 35 items for free. For free! No more tears over having to skip that crunchy leaf. Sounds pretty good. Right? There's no way you wouldn't want this. I'll sign you up right now. How wonderful. It's our lucky day. She feels nice to get cool stuff without doing anything. And it's done. Just talk to me whenever you want our services. What's in here? Ooh. A mushroom beyond average. We could get that for poison heals. Danger shroom. Restores one TP at a price. No, thank you. I don't want to get to the dangers. I could just get the honey drop and restore five TP without danger. Why would you buy the danger shroom? I'm buying the danger shroom. Try buy a few honey drops. Oh, we can't carry any more items. Damn, our inventory's small. Only ten items. Maybe for challenge, maybe the price is actually rewarding in some way. Yeah, we'll see what we can get in combat. Clean out this lot, then someone will be able to purchase it and build on it. We have 10 whole items. This is somehow a worse inventory system than, like, Earthbound Beginnings. I mean, I, it's not that bad, actually, because I'm pretty sure key items are different. Yeah, key items are a different slot, so it's still better than Earthbound Beginnings. 
Oh, first time here, aren't you? Welcome, I offer banking services here. Annoyed when your wallet is full and no longer has space for that berry? Panicking when thieves steal your hard-earned money? Then my services are just for you. I can offer you account here at my bank to keep your berries safe when you're out doing whatever you do. I don't know, I like keeping my berries close to myself. This is the kind of attitude that will make you never move forward in life. Look, if you keep your berries here, you might even get some interest every now and then. You'll earn a small percent of your account every 30 minutes. It's free money. Free money's even shadier. Just think about it, wouldn't you? So how about it? It is 50 berries to open an account with me. That will do nicely. Thank you. Your account is ready. Talk to me when you wanna do... Fuck. It's better pay itself off later. Earthbound was pretty bad. Is Mother 1 even worse? Mother 1 slash Earthbound Beginnings gives you, like, I think, like, 8 slots. Or less. Actually, I think it might even be less than that. It was, like, minuscule how much inventory you get for each character. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up real quick. Earthbound Beginnings Inventory. Also, yeah, I know you were talking in terms of inventory. None of these screenshots are helping. Although I did get an image that says, This software is an illegal copy of a Nintendo game. The use, possession, or sale of this counterfeit cartridge is illegal and infringes Nintendo copyrights. Nintendo Co. Ltd. Kyoto, Japan. Redmond, Washington, USA. This illegal copy of NES Earthbound will no longer function. Oh, thank goodness everyone can play NES Earthbound on their NES's legit. Otherwise, that, that would be, ugh. That would be terrible. Okay, yeah, you get eight inventory slots in Earthbound Beginnings. I don't remember how many was in Earthbound, but it was definitely more than that. You have zero berries. You can have some bebbies. You can have my bebbies. A cool 24 overall. Yep. <laughs> That's all you get for Earthbound Beginnings. Earthbound was like 16, 18, 20 or something. Yeah, it was definitely, it was at least double Earthbound Beginnings. And it's already pretty bad in Earthbound. So you can imagine having half of that. Ugh. I feel that way about early Pokemon games, too. Even Gen 3, I found replaying it a lot recently has been like, wow, I can't wait till I get to the part of the game where I have to keep putting shit in storage. Ah, hello there. I don't have much to offer, but make yourselves comfortable. Most, more annoying part was how limited Tracy's storage was. Oh, status effects in you. In battle, there are many different status effects. The most common are poison, numb, sleep, and freeze. Poison will hurt you at the end of your turn, but you can fight normally. The other three, however, prevent you from doing an action in battle. Numb paralyzes you, but your stiff body gains one defense point. Sleep gets cured when you get hit, and you'll recover HP as you rest. The freeze stops you from acting and lowers your defense by one. Being attacked will thaw you out. Every being resists statuses in different ways. Plants do f don't fall asleep, for example. Mastering status effects is the key to becoming an expert fighter. Six badges into Emerald and it hasn't been an issue. It's fair enough. It's, it's probably because I'm so thorough when I play Emerald and I don't really have to use battle items a lot. Like, I'm good enough at the game where I don't really have to use, like, shit in battle as much. Not that I'm like, oh, I'm such a pro fucking Pokemon player, uh, but, you know, I I I grew up with Emerald. I've played it a lot. Oh, I see. I see what I have to do here. Also, yeah, if you take care of your inventory space, you'll be fine, I think. What the fuck? Get away from me. 
Ah, I've been trying to form a team with Mun, but he's a bit scared. Bug me not. Defeats any weak enemy on the field upon touching them. Well, I'd like to get the... Oh, wait. I mean, if I defeat them instantly, what am I thinking? Put that on. Won't put hard mode on. Oh, your team Snake Mouth, right? Be careful when heading out to the wild. Some flying creatures are so steady it takes them two hits to get down. No prob, I'm the queen of multi-hit super smackdowns. <laughs> Excuse us, fine lady. Is everything all right? No, no, it's not. I've been trying to play in the theater for so long, and I feel like if I could f finally do it, but now Mothia is so popular, they only want her. They said I'd never be as good as her, and now I don't know what to do or how to make money. So what? If someone says you can't do something, you prove them wrong, and they'll beg for forgiveness. If you enjoy it, just play. Just do what you can. Who needs that dumb theater? Y you're right. I, I just need to get fans of my own. Um... I'm hoping you'll be my first. If there's any songs you like, I can play them for you. Please bring berries and come hear me play soon. Oh, I have zero cash. V, that was fantastic. You being so uplifting. We must say we're surprised. I was just being honest. You don't have to make such a big deal about it. I assure you, you've made a big difference today. Yeah, whatever. It's all up to her now, you know? She'll be fine. Let us drop by later and see what she can do. Hey, Otter. Got any quests for me? Why, yes I do. Looking for the quick and dirty ones, ain't you, V? We would like to see any and all available ones, if possible. Ah, those are almost never worth it. Nonsense, V. Helping others is its own reward. Oh, how noble. It's moving, really. Kind of. Alright, I will make all quests available for you lot. Well, here's hoping for good rewards. Ooh. We don't have money, though. We need to attack people. I want to hit people. Oh, we need to eat. Where can I hit people? I want to get monies. I don't have money. I have zero bebbies. I spent so much on the danger mushroom. Or rather, I spent so much on the bank. Just between you and me, there were some weirdos that used to hang out at long. Hang around this spot a long time ago. I don't know what their deal was, but I'm glad they're gone. Though you can still feel their presence around, you know? I suppose so. Oh, this is a big guy. Explorers, huh? Tip for you. Stay away from the water. You never know what kind of monsters might be l lurking below the surface. money I'm sorry actually I can't afford that oh, but I need money for the end first since I took the end job how much is the end oh we can stay free for the night for free I won't complain but trying to bribe us already huh uh, oh um 
Worry not, innkeeper. We will accept your generous offer. Please make sure we have the same experience as all your guests, and we will keep the price of stay in mind for our review. Whew, alright then. Your room is upstairs. I hope you have a lovely night. We hope so too. Please come talk to me when you wake up so I can get your review. Let's see. Ugh. It's just such good items. I'm gonna get rid of a leaf. Sorry, Crunchy Leaf. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Hmm. Um, I slept pretty well. The honey drop you left was great. We haven't had a bed so cozy in years, or any bed really. It was good. It, it was great, yes. My, my bed hurt my back. Alright, service has still got it. I needed the confidence boost. You're great, I can't wait to come again. Mm-hmm. Heh, <laughs> come back anytime. Y yes of course. Yay! Do we want to take all open? I want a new taste. Living far away from people is hard, and someone as old as me has trouble gathering food. Can someone bring this old bug a hearty breakfast? Meet me in my hut in Snake Mouth Way. My mother said not to wander into the outskirts, but I did anyway. Some midges stuck, stung me in the tunnel down south, so I dropped my ball and ran away. Please help me find it. You got it. You got it, kid. Todd? Todd! The Todd? No. Oh dear, I have been so absorbed in my reading I have forgotten to return a book to the palace library and now it's overdone. Someone please deliver this book for me. I am too busy to go myself. My house is in the Ant City residential area. Meet me there. A friend of mine in- A friend of mine's in need of those par these parts to repair their trinket. I'm a bit swamped with administration work, though. Could you someone meet me at the association and deliver them? Thanks. In this world, there's many books. Timeless classics, mediocre books, self-help and cooking books. You get it. But there's also t some ter truly terrible books. How I, I treasure them. If you find any of them, please bring them to me. <laughs> I like that Reeves is really into absolute garbage. We need to eat food. We keep wanting food. I guess I can't read that. Are you ready for the chow of your life? Bring me ingredients and I will make you some chow. Chup chup, let's get to him. Give me what you want to cook. Show me what you got. So crunchy leaf. Okay, right, let's. What happens if we combined two ingredients? Hmm. What two ingredients? Do crunchy leaf. How about a mushroom? Honey and crunchy. Okay, we could do that. That's probably a better idea. Watch a master do his work. Here it is, a masterwork. Eat it up, small fry. Ooh! That's a pretty good item. He's a buff fly. Hmm, this looks really tasty, thanks. Can't explore on an empty stomach. It's nice to be able to share like this. <laughs> we feel just like new. Literal ages since we ate something. And we get hungry real fast too. We'll definitely eat here again. It's been nice to share. Sounds good, but it's time to get back to the mission. 
We've got to go south to the Golden Settlement. Off we go. Yeah, there's probably a whole bunch of recipes online. What if we combine the mushroom with the danger mushroom? What's the mushroom we're gonna get from this? Mushroom skewer. Ooh, that's pretty decent too. I like the contrast between his plural talk and how casually he phrases his sentences. What'd you get? I froze. I got a mushroom skewer. I'm not gonna cook anymore. We have a lot of drops, but uh, that's good to know for later. Oh, these are badges, or the medals, rather. Raises enemy attack, but doubles berry reward. Perfect for an extra challenge. Sleep resistance? HP plus- Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Sleep resistance is not that bad either. This will get us killed instantly. Think you should combine two danger mushrooms when you get the chance. Uh, we'll have to wait until I get more money, but we could do that. Also, not sure how much longer I'm gonna stream this. I, I feel bad for making this a shorter stream. Uh, but I did have to start very late, so it happens. We could do a longer Bug Fable stream next time we get to it. Where am I going? This is just sending me back to town. Super Danger Mushroom restores 2 TP, but has a chance to send nudes to family members. It sounds like I... That's not a problem for me. I don't have any of those, so that's not a problem for me. Should give him a breakfast. Breakfast! What do you mean I was fine with it? I don't I, I'm fine with not having any nudes of me. I haven't taken any. I don't have any reason to. Intro to the song is totally Superstar Saga. Where am I going? Where's the map? Here is the map. Where do you wish to go? Head to the tunnel south. If you still have an egg, you can cook it. I don't think we do. Yeah, no, we don't. Oh, well. Should have phrased that joke better. It's fine. I'm, I'm just stating that I don't have any, so I would be fine to combine the danger shrooms. It would have no effect on me personally. I have no idea where I'm going. It says Tunnel South of the Association. Where is... Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. South is this way. Snail? Oh, yeah. 
There's a big snail. Won't talk to me. We cannot speak with snail. Head is the pier in the path to the lost sands. Be careful when heading that way. Did we get it? I know, it got us. Fuck you. Get the f fuck out of here. Get out of there. I dare you, I dare you, I dare you. Ow. Channel points over 9,000. I think they should add a patch where if you mix two danger shrooms, you game over instantly. <laughs> Don't do that. Get this guy out of the air. Ow! Defended too soon. Didn't defend soon enough. Oh, God. Oh, Kaboo's low on health. thing. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, you might spoil yourself if you go looking for things on Kaboo right now. We're, we're so early on. You might have some kind of tragic backstory. I think when, when we get to the next area, town, whatever, I think we'll end it there. He's the real villain. Now, come on. How could you say that about our friend Kaboo? Come on. Oh, no. Oh. Boo, you're okay. Let's just let's just kill the enemies. Yeah. Shit ton of EXP for that though. Oh, I don't have any it's fine. I have no actual healing items. I have a shit ton of revives. But that's not really gonna do me many favors. That's not doing anything. North Lost Sands, East Metal Lake, Bulgaria Pier... West Ant Kingdom. Oh, we need to go to the Ant Kingdom. Uh. Should you storage when you can't? Hold on. I'm playing the game. We don't have anything in storage. Just 
door revives. Well, it'd be better if the revives were on us. For when we get to bosses and shit. Ooh, do we want more health or TP? I'm thinking TP. I could probably use more metal points also. I think next level up will go for metal. It's this, uh, we don't really know how to describe it. It's a steering wheel, Leaf. A what? It's to drive boats around in the water. Hmm, even when you explain it, it's hard to imagine how it works. Back then, boats were way simpler. Well, you do have to study a lot to drive a boat. We feel quite outdated. Keep your head high, Leaf. There's so much to discover in this pier. Yay, learning. Pirate? We can see what the pirates are about later. I'm kind of tired. It's already almost 10. Oh! Sorry to end the stream so soon, but I'm tired. And we started really late. Um, but see you, man. I'm, a, I'm about to end it anyway, so... You're not, you're not missing much. Um... That is the end of tonight's stream. Tomorrow! Tomorrow we start the Pokemon Nuzlocke. Uh, this is a big project I have in the works. Going to be in the works when I start streaming it. Um, gonna be putting together these Nuzlocke parts as we go along. I'm gonna be doing the streams. I'm also going to be doing edits of the stream. I'm gonna be editing them down for easier consumption, I guess. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. I've wanted to do the Nuzlocke for years. I hope you are able to join us, everyone. It is going to be one hell of a ride, I think. Um, it's going to be a more infrequent stream. I'm not going to do it unless, you know, I have all the edits done. So, I'm hoping to have it all done by the end of the summer. We will see. Um, I'll let you know as we do it. You also have to keep in mind I might be late with the first few edits because I'm still working on the E3 project. Um, so, there's that. Uh, anyways, yeah, the Nuzlocke will be tomorrow. Um, Saturday, I'll probably do Super Mario World. I wanted to do that yesterday. Not yesterday. Yesterday we did Mario Party. I wanted to do it Tuesday, but I wasn't able to because my internet was absolutely shitting itself. Um, I'm going to try for Saturday on that. That should be fun. I love Super Mario World. I think people will have fun watching me play one of my favorite games. At least I hope you do. I like to think my passion will carry it. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it for tonight's stream. I want to thank you all for coming. Hope y'all have a good night. Take care. Bug Fable should return on Sunday. So look forward to it then. See you all later.